Hello, welcome back dear all. Today we are going to discuss about uh, how to calculate uh, land use, land cover, uh, per future prediction using the Google Earth platform. So this is the code. I will be sharing this code in the description of this video and also tell you what parameters are I'm um, using here and how you can choose uh, any other location and run this code just you need to choose your location and run this code your future prediction I calculated the algorithm that I use in this video at the random forest uh, so I will explain to the one to one line of this code first I'm going to importing the elevation that is 30 meter resolution then I'm uh, make one variable that is a geometry in the multiplying variable it contains these samples training samples I make the 10 classes you can make uh, 4 3 2 as your as as per your need so first uh, I make the 10 uh, variable values which contain the training samples then I define the variable palette it means that I give the these are color coded values I give uh, each color contain a, uh, different values uh, then I will give this a name let's suppose the variable value 1 is give this color F08080 and that is build up and then as so on so the next step is that to show the legends legends contain the three things that is a palette value and the names as uh, you can see in the map when I run this code you can see that the line contain these three things the next step is that the line cover dictionary for the visualization the line cover dictionary will contains also these three values that is the palette values and the names okay the next step is that I'm going to import the data uh, that is uh, LULC 2019 and uh, variable LULC 2022 these are the online available project status you can also convert it by just click here it will be the converted and you can also convert it at the you can see now these are value variables created here uh, the next step is that uh, that you have to define your version of entities here i'm going to define my geometry that is uh, named as lulc 2019 geometry the next is one is the put your land cover list that I have two variables that is uh, year 2019 and 2022 and the images names are displayed here the next is that shows the 2019 and 2022 land cover and here I'm using the one function that I explained you uh, so here you can say that they create a land cover land cover change map and making the indicate the between the land cover classes show the change map and the land cover chain map layer to the map values so here this function is a very comprehensive create a land cover map change so from here you read this function sample image generate a certified sample of a point for training in the prediction for the model so here i can choose you the show the change map change map is a one variable then i add this into the layer and uh, so on the last one is a print change dictionary uh, here we are going to define it okay that is creating the image with variable to predict the line cover change then start and transition elevation clip area strm and ri and then so on uh, these are the uh, models are started started from here build a random forest for the prediction as i per mentioned in the start of this video i use a simple uh, random forest model for the prediction of the land use land cover change and then apply the variables these are the two variables that i use is to uh, i'm going to predict it from this year, year 2025 and i mentioned here this year the multiply with uh, this value with the equation that is relevant to this year and then rename the year is here and then apply the model of the variable 2025 the definition is here as i make the map layer you, uh, this function is basically make the layer on a map that is a map dot add layer function is used 
then add uh, the algo lc prediction list here then calculate the land cover area pixels this function is basically calculating the how much area will be predicted from the 2025 these are all calculation will perform here and calculate just within the geometry that is uh, region of interest roi then so on then make a chart also for uh, the years that is 2019 22 to and the 25 and uh, print the chart area uh, it is also make a chart then the last one function is for uh, ui based function that is user interface which shows the legends its heights and values in 20px 20px calculate it here and uh, this is a complete comprehensive code now i'm going to tell you the summary uh, of this code in just a few words okay first you have to line cover parameter define value palette name in the four line cover line classes and shows a legend display on a map for line cover classes line cover dictionary are the visualization create additionally contain a line cover classes information for the visualization line cover data from uh, 2019 and the 2022 and the load the data for 2019 and the 2022 and uh, put the line cover list correct uh, containing a line cover images for uh, 2019 and 2022 shows the line shows uh 2019 and the 2022 line cover at the layers for both of years on a map then create a line cover change map generate a map indicator between the line cover classes print the chain history containing the land cover values create the images with the variable to predict the land cover changes Split the train in the test uh, samples into the training testing sample data set split the dynamic forest model for the prediction then test the model accuracy uh, the next step is that the variable prediction for 2022 apply the model add uh, 2025 as you will see list on the map calculate the land cover area as per year calculate it for each year make a chart and then finally you can add the legends these are the little bit summary of this complete comprehensive code. Now I'm going to run this code and show what are the results come out. You just click on a simply run button. And uh, first we are going to explore the chart values and comprehensive these values. Uh, you just click here and the new tab is open here. We are uh, going to understand what the chart acts goes to via indicate so here are the different lines you can see here build up water dry line grassland wetland and so on this is the area value and these are the year values from 2009 to the 2015 you can see is that clearly build up area will continuously increase from this to this year and in this uh, you can also download the csv file uh, just click here and open it okay these are the values uh, that you can use for your research paper and all comprehensive values are list down here in your csv format if you download this chart uh, just click on the ssv and png format is also available so the next one is uh, we're going to check out the maps okay this is the map here you can see that uh, we're going to zoom in any uh, urban region urban region this is the complete urban region so we're going to uncheck all these colors and uh, just load the last final layer zoom in here here we are going to comparison first uh, 2019 and 2022 so you can see is that the build up area will be reduced here and 2019 contain a more build up area in this region that are uh, pretty less here and this map is shows a change uh, this map is only shows a change and what are the future prediction this map is shows the future prediction now we are going to compare it uh, on a little bit here okay lock it here 
and now you can clearly see that the data data display here that is 2019 and when you check uh, in you can see the difference the build up area comprehensively increased specially and then this is the uh, future prediction it is increased the uh, build up area so in this way you can use the google earth engine for this uh, uh, comprehensive land use land cover prediction so thank you so much all of them